What's up guys, Catfish Wrangler, and I'm going to showcase my 2021 rod and reel arsenal. So, the first rod you've seen in many videos is my 2020 baitcasting combo. It just has a Shakespeare uh, baitcaster, and then it's got the Lose Laser rod. This rod has been really good to me. I haven't had any problems with it. So yeah, that's a really good rod. I'll show you a clip of what I caught on that rod a week ago. So roll that clip. Okay, I think we got into some fish here. Ready? Got one baby. Got one baby. Got one baby. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. My first fish here, nice bass. What a Texas. Oh, that is a cold bass. Look at that, he just choked it. Okay, nice fish. Let me get this hook out. Here is a little bait caster i didn't have a rod for it. i just got this for christmas it's got a really nice turn on it if i can hold it right it'll spin pretty good yep it's a pretty good reel i don't have a rod for it i'm just gonna keep this around for an extra reel just in case one of them breaks my next rod that i usually use is my crappie rod for minnows I just have two split shot weights right there. So a little small dot hook and this bobber. And I just have a Zebco 33 with a Zebco 33 rod. And there's so many scales on it from all the crappie I've caught. Caught some big crappie on that. Uh, and then here is my crappie rod for lures. I actually use this for bass too. I have a little popper tied on right there. It's a pretty nice rod. It ha This is a South Bend Neutron. I've been using this a lot this year. It's a pretty good rod. So yeah. My other rod that I have here is my new Blues Mach 1. I love this rod, it feels good. This is the newer Mach 1. You can see it has that point right there. And it has ultra grip. It feels really good. I haven't even put line. It still has the lose Mach 1 tag. Just a really nice reel. I think this will be good for like uh, Texas rigs. I never tried it. I never handled the Mach 1. So hopefully this works pretty good. So my tackle box I have for 2021. I'm going to need a new one soon. If you guys seen my uh, what's in my tackle box one, you would know how full it is. And so every slot is full. So let me show you this in a better angle. So my tackle box is pretty full here. Uh, every slot is full. You can see right here, there's not one slot that isn't full. Look at all that. And we just have a ton of stuff in the bottom of it. We have Texas rig hooks, my crazy jig. If you haven't seen that video, it's probably the second newest one. I haven't filmed a video in a while. Oh, and guys, thank you for 100 subscribers. We have hit our goal. I still can't believe we hit that. So just keep watching my videos and stay tuned so we also have some soft plastic here just some flukes from zoom and some zoom uh watermelon seed lizards this is what i was using to catch that fish on my uh shakespeare bait caster that's a good rod so we also have some little uh chart pepper uh lures these are the trick worms 
We also have some Senkos. I haven't used these in a while. I don't think I've ever used them. But just some power bait. Uh, whatever these are. I don't even know. Purple, red, flake. Those are weird. I've never heard of that. But they're nice. I've caught fish on these. Uh, then we have all these other stuff. Like Yum stuff. Moglo. Chatter baits, buzz baits, all this other stuff. And yeah, so I'm gonna be getting a new tackle box. I'll probably showcase that sometime. But pretty nice box here. It's kind of breaking, you can see right here. It bent a little bit, it's supposed to be straight. Shouldn't be like that, but yeah. Okay, let me show you my favorite uh, crankbait that I have. It's either, this is a hard choice, because I like this Yugen Squad Banger. You can find these at, like, Academy and stuff. Hold on, let me hold it better. It's just a little square bill. I love how the logo's in the eye. I haven't used this lure much, because I'm afraid I'm going to lose it. But, it's pretty cool. And then I also have this really cool RC2 right here. Let me grab this. It's a really cool one. I found this in a tree while kayaking on a lake. We got this down. It's in really good shape. It hasn't been banged up really. It's like brand new almost. And it's a pretty nice lure. So, so this is my tackle box. And it's pretty good. My camera wasn't focusing for some reason. So this is a pretty nice box. Oh, and I forgot to show you this. There's like a lid right here, and it's also full of stuff like crankbaits, lipless crankbaits, and poppers, and all that stuff. So, yeah, I like this box. See you guys in a second. By the way, also, I've been struggling to film videos because it's so cold outside, it's like 30 degrees. And I've been trying to film videos, it's, I'm really struggling to catch fish. And it's just really hard. And you guys have crushed the subscribe button. And you've we've hit 100 subscribers. So we're going to make our next goal 150. And if you guys hit that, I'm going to do something really cool. So I also got a six-month subscription from Mystery Tackle Box. It's a really cool box. I tried to film a video on one of them. But I'm still trying to film that video, actually. So it hasn't technically failed yet. But, yeah, so stay tuned to my videos, and see you later. Bye.